everyone uh, welcome back to my channel in the last uh, video we tackled the login form today we are building it is counterpart the registration form plus we will make sure that uh, they talk to each other which means that when you don't have account you press register and it will lead you to new form where you fill in uh, all the needed uh, information now let's create a registration form file and give it the name and here we need um, heading should be the same as uh, as in in login form or we just call it index now this style and javascript are the same to connect to the registration form we come to uh, don't have account a login or register we come to um, a registration option and we choose uh, the file that we want to connect now if we just press registration button it will uh, go to the new file that you have just created and here just uh, we fill in the basic uh, structure of HTML Now let's add some style to the registration form. As we see the registration form is bigger than the uh, login form. Uh, we need to change the width of uh, the form and we target registration container. The title in the center of the form and put the input level a little bit higher than input field that when we write something we can see uh, the text that we, uh, we are writing. Uh, let us target uh, input level level that should be now you see the text is mixed with the label so now we need to put uh, the text uh, a little bit higher and in that case we target input groups and in the input groups we do target label where we customize it When you press the button here, there's nothing pop up. So let us customize with JavaScript and the password and the confirmation password are not the same or match. So it will give us a error. This first line is um, the line lesson for, for the Doom content to be fully loaded. And here we, we are selecting uh, the button inside the registration container. The click event, when you click, so it will give you uh, the pop-up now the next line is um, we just preventing uh, from uh, you know you know default behavior preventing from submitting when you press the button and this line is just the following um, to get the value of password and confirmation password if you know the password or confirmation confirm password are empty or not much it will not accept now let us fill in uh, the name uh, email password confirm password let's put the different password and see and now if you see I put the different password and it said that password do not match or it's empty thank you for watching